Howdy folks, my name is Kern and welcome to yet another week of Kern's Guild Spotlight. What is Kern's Guild Spotlight? It's where every weekday I make a small three to five or six minute video where I spotlight various guilds looking for new members. Why do I do this? Why? Because recruitment is like the worst thing out there. It is so awful to constantly try to attract people to your guild and to not get any new applications. It's so bad. It's so depressing. It's soul sucking. You feel as though everything you type ever is completely futile. You know, you have a great discussion with somebody and then they don't even app and you're like, why did I even bother? So this is for you guys. This is for guilds seeking new players. Hopefully it helps out. So Skunk Works, right? This is our guild today. It's a level 25 horde guild on the US Storm Reaver server. The name is Skunk Works, and um, there's a bunch of stuff that's really interesting about Skunk Works. Possibly one of the more interesting things is that they've just left their old server and moved to Storm Reaver. Last week, Blizzard had a whole bunch of 50% discounts on character services, like transferring your guild, transferring your character, all this stuff. So a whole bunch of people left their old server of Balnazar and went to Storm Reaver, and that's where Skunk Works ended up. Um, why would they leave Balnazar? This is the question. Well, I went to wow.realmpop.com and found that Balnazar uh, is a PvP server in the central time zone with a dominant horde faction, but um, oh yes, only about 19,000 characters total. So uh, it was one of the five least populated realms in the US region. So can't really blame them for leaving. Um, Storm Reaver, by contrast, uh, is also a PvP realm, also in the central time zone, also has a dominant, although slightly less dominant, uh, horde faction, and 142,000 characters. Yeah, can't really blame them. So way to go, Skunk Works. Glad you got off of Belnazar and onto Storm Reaver, uh, where I'm sure you'll be much happier. Uh, Skunk Works, uh, you can find their website at skunkworksguild.com. That's skunkworksguild.com. Uh, they are a 25-man reading guild. They are 10 of 13 heroic modes through Th Throne of Thunder. They are looking for a holy paladin or exceptional players, and we'll talk about exceptional players in a minute. Um, they read on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Central, which is 10 to 2 Eastern or 7 to 11 Pacific. And that's it. That's that's it. They're ten of thirteen heroic, and they read eight hours a week. Seriously, seriously, yes, seriously. That is what it is like to be part of Skunk Works, and that's where we start talking about exceptional players. I was curious, what did they mean by exceptional players? Apparently, this is a frequently asked question because there is a thread in their forums asking what is an exceptional player. So let us see what their answer is. Um, they say, a large majority of our trials have one or more of the following attributes. Former top 100 or top 50 or better preferred guild experience. Standout logs that demonstrate excellent damage avoidance, high DPS or healing numbers, excellent use of cooldowns, and an understanding of their class mechanics. A personal endorsement from a current or respected former raider with the guild. And a notable contribution to the raiding community, such as bloggers, theory crafters, etc. They say this isn't to say that you can't apply if you don't have one or more of these attributes. But when we say exceptional player, we tend to be referring to people with one or more of the above. If you still feel you're an incredible player, then you can still feel free to app. But keep in mind that your application will have to, have to be that much better to make up for what's missing. And we always evaluate every application with a skeptical eye. All of this, of course, is to protect and, and encourage a truly great rating experience with great players achieving incredible progression on only two nights a week. Can't really blame them. The bar is set high. These are not bad players. These are fantastic players. You have to be fantastic in order to only raid eight hours a week and achieve what they have so far achieved. Um, that's pretty fantastic. The, um, the person who submitted... The guild to my website, um, and thus drew, drew my attention to them, uh, says that they are the number one two-day U.S. 25-man guild, period. Um, they're always looking for ex-hardcore raiders who have less time to raid, but still want to progress quickly. So this is clearly 
a guild for people who know their stuff. Um, and sort of to add to that, uh, one of their raiders is none other than Beruthiel, who used to be the raid leader of Monolith. Uh, she is now a raider with Skunk Works. You may know her blog, Falling Leaves and Wings. Um, and uh, so if, if you trust Beru, and who shouldn't trust Beru? Honestly, she's a, she's a great person, great player, very knowledgeable. If she's with these guys, you can be sure that these guys are awesome. So there you go, Skunk Works, skunkworksguild.com, eight hours a week, 10 of 13 heroic, looking for a holy pally or exceptional players. Guess that's it for today. We will catch you back here for tomorrow for yet another episode of Current Guild Spotlight. Thanks for watching.